Today is a motorcycle day. So finally in Missouri, it stopped raining. We had a 10 day stretch there where we had some rain. Didn't have much of a chance to get out on the motorcycle. So today we are actually going to do another Gateway Harley Challenge ride. Uh, it's number three on the Gateway Harley Challenge for 2020. It is Eversgard Civil War Fort in Germantown near Bartelzo, Illinois. So it's just about an hour from here on the freeways, but we're gonna take the uh, we're going to take the scenic route, so it'll probably take us about an hour and 45 to get there. Um, this fort, I don't know too much about, but I just saw on TripAdvisor, it's a must-see that has multiple buildings, and it appears that it's a, just a private party uh, has purchased it and has turned it into a museum, but we'll find out more when we get there. at Eversgard Civil War Fort. It's on Shoal Creek Road in the middle of nowhere. What was that town that we went through? Was that? Germantown. What was it called? Germantown. Germantown. Yeah, Germantown was right back there. There was New Baden. Um, and it's uh, on just this old country road with uh, farming around it and right in uh -huh. the middle here stands this uh yes, the civil war fort and uh, there's no sign or anything so follow your gps look it up on trip advisor follow your gps and uh i think there's some parking yeah there's some parking down there we didn't see it when we pulled in so just go past the fort or right before the fort if you're coming from that way 
Um, but there's some parking down on the back end down there. We've just parked our bikes right here in front. How you doing? Free to just walk around? Oh, you gotta ask him. Well, yeah, that'd be great. What's that? that? That's what I would do, go ahead and look around. Mm -hmm. So what town are you from? Uh, we're from South St. Louis. Really? I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. What, what? Rode the motorcycles out. Oh, really? What kind of motorcycles you got? Um, she's got a, a Heritage Classic and I've got a, a Fat Boy. Oh, when it, three of them. Yeah, that, the band we used to, we had a coffee shop in Francis Park and the band would come and play there. Yeah. And they would do the cannons. Hampton Heights band. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And we would shoot the cannons. Oh, that's cool. And you probably uh, you complain all the time because it would shake your buildings. <laughs> <laughs> we just came in, so tell us about it. Yeah, well, we gotta get some, we gotta get home too. We're, we're just, you just missed it a while ago. We had all the wagons and horses and everything. But, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, we had the wagons out. We had the horses on there. And he also has a, he also has a donation thing there too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are, you in, are you in the arrowheads and anything like that? Um, I like just like all types of history. Oh, there you go. He knows it. Bob, thanks. <laughs> Goodbye, you know, my friend. Let me know when you, when you want to. I'm running the teams. We had four teams here today. A lot of them left already. They're going to have a big Civil War movie coming up here. And that, they're working on it with the virus, so we're going to, that's what these guys, they're, we're getting uniforms ready, which I was a Civil War reenactor for right. so, for ages, so I got a lot, a lot of extra uniforms. But the story, I started building this in 1984, so this is a one-man project. Yeah. So I'm going around, and that's, that's where I'm laying now, over here. You see what I got done, that little piece there and on the other side. How long ago did you start? I started. I started in 84. 84. I, I'm hard of hearing, and one of my hearing aids died. So. so last week I hauled this building. I took a crane and hauled this building across there and parked it right there. So that, I'm working on that one too. So these are all authentic log cabins. Some uh, 1812, 1817, 1880s. These are all authentic cabins. I took down and put them back up. <coughs> Have you had this property a long time? I inherited eight and I bought 20. But, uh. That's really cool. It is. What do you do for a hobby? Just motorcycles? Um, what else do we travel? We've got dogs, motorcycles. I play music sometimes. What kind of music? I play guitar. Yeah. We yeah. found about it from uh, Gateway, Gateway Harley. They're doing a challenge. Oh, it's a, a challenge it, ride. Yeah, there was a couple guys here one time. So you can go ahead and look around a little bit, and now I want to open the other doors so you can look around a little bit. Oh, wow. This is all tank stuff, nothing here is fake. I've been hunting this area since I was 11. Some of these are 14,000 years old. They're not really arrowheads. Most of them are knives. Wow. So we got a, a Clovis, 14,000 years old. Another Clovis. This is a Sedalia, Sedalia, Missouri. This is a Dalton. A Snyder, 2,000 years old. These are, these are Daltons. They're 10,000. These are Hardens, 9,000. These are Arrowheads. 
like a 300 to 2,000 years old. These are arrowheads. These are knives. Wow. This is what they are. They call them arrowheads, but they're not. So I was 11 years old. How do you acquire stuff like this? Where do you, where do you find I stuff? I walked the fields. I should, we were going to do that earlier this morning and get up. But I had these people come. So I was 11 years old. It took me 11 years to get that. A few years to get that. And there's my teenage years. My whole upstairs is full of them, too. This is just part of them. Mostly from this area? or Clay all? County. Um, Bond County and Northern Washington County. Wow. I know. I think we found one when I was one or two when I was a kid. But these holy are, shit. This, these are the ones I found last week, but they won't go here because they're all in pure. I got bushes and bushes of this. I only display the good ones. Wow. wow. Got hematite. Hematite comes from Ironton, Missouri. We got hematite axes. Hematite. Those are hammers and axes. I went to Panama the other day. I bought the Indians carved these out. I bought that from a Panama Indian. These are spades to work in the garden. 85% of your Indian rocks are fake, so I'm, I'm, I'm good at what I do. That's amazing. I just have to see the picture. I got that was pressed the last one testament. You'll see it in the other room, but that's we took a picture there as a signature. So I got the whole works in the other room. Really? Um, the Indians broke it and they uh, re chipped it. And they used it like that. They didn't want, because it, it broke off, you know, right? Fresh spring water flowed through the tank. Constructed of sandstone, discovered buried in hillside on a farm in Penneburn, Illinois. This old man, he passed away, but he made them. In the bottom, we got a gangster museum from the burgers and the shelters. Mm -hmm. Great. See, I don't know if I take these two together, that way I don't have to talk so much. <laughs> It's the mm -hmm. hangman's cafe. Yeah. So, anyway, the reason I leave the grass grow, they're making a major Civil War movie out here. Oh. So all the teams have just left. And so we got grass for out here, like split cedar shakes, and mm -hmm. I'm putting another log cabin right there when we pour that in one there. But let oh. the grass grow so everything looks off there. Sure. Sure. Where's the trap door? <laughs> well, people would talk. But the <laughs> trap door is at the bottom. <laughs> Classic, isn't it? Mm -hmm. See 
see what my yep. last number is. Nice. That's a 1954. Are you were born? That's a little early for me. I was a 58 vintage. Yeah, match cards are pretty. More artifacts. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's all Wells Fargo stuff. That's funny experience from St. Joe, Missouri. Now, the guy who made the movie, he was a friend of, of uh, Clint Walker, he, Cheyenne Modi. Anyway, that, that movie's on tonight. Anyway, uh, so I, I wouldn't take the money. He said, How much money would you take to do a movie? I said, Nothing, you know, everybody have a good time. And so he's giving me all kinds of stuff. Oh, wow. so, uh, he's a good friend of uh, Marty Stewart. A lot of people don't know who Marty Stewart is. Country music. Yeah. So anyway, this is Charlie Burger. This is Charlie Burger. He from Harrisburg, Illinois. There's Charlie Burger. This is his gang. In 1926, he went to Pocahontas, Illinois, which is probably 12 miles to the north. And he robbed this bank. And they stole bullet holes in from the big shootout. Here's the newspaper article that says they stole 26,000. But they really got away with 5,000. The banker <laughs> told the sheriff that he got away with 26,000. And a little while later, he bought a whole bunch of ground. It's closing time. The bar is almost empty. It's me, the bartender, and the piano man. Oh my God, gorgeous. Look at this. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so when, I, when I start this movie, I'll be taking a lot of these uniforms off because a lot of these guys are too, they got these new uniforms that are too pretty. Mm -hmm. And I need some oh. rough looking uniforms. I, <laughs> yeah. I can't tell you the history of everything, but that, that's a famous dress. How did they not just die wearing? Uh, wool yeah. in the summertime. Remember <laughs> <laughs> when we were farmers, we we bought the top barn, yeah. which is okay. uh, three miles down the road. And let's say if your name is Wesselman, mm -hmm. look on W. So your number your number is fifty nine. Then you right. look at fifty nine. That's what your old store yet. So you look at fifty nine. Oh, that's what was. Yeah. So you did those this, your bill your receipts. Oh. Like if you then you got to have the combination. Open this one. Mm -hmm. And after that, if you get that one open, you gotta have a key to open this thing. And you open it up, you gotta wait a half hour before it goes bink and opens up. Then you gotta have a combination of this with oh turn it backwards. And then you gotta have that special tool to sit in here and then crank it open. That's interesting, it has those timers in it. Yeah. That's fascinating. Wow. So I did people give me mannequins, then I Paint them up so they look like real. Mm -hmm. I, the real man's got dirt in his fingernails, you know. Yep. So I so I paint the dirt in your fingernails. Mm -hmm. This is 1817. There's the name. They stamped it in there, Fred and Katie. And so this was on another property. All this you... was another. There was nothing here but swamp. I haul all the biggest thing is hauling this dirt in. So because I'm in a floodplain, because that's a Cassius River, that's Show Creek. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this is for, these fields are just solid water. Uh -huh. and the houses are on the hills, uh -huh. so there was no there was no nails in this building because 1817 they didn't have no nails. Mm -hmm. And so you find it. People call me up and give it to me. Something that's on their property when they get it off their property, and you just haul haul it here, or that's right. They call and then me reassemble it. We're going to tear down a crab if you want it. But rich people will, will, will always want to sell it to us, so the rich people would burn it. Mm -hmm. They say, "Give me a thousand dollars, or I'll burn it." But exactly. people are glad to. That they still get to home yet. I imagine burning something. Yeah, we see them all the time when we're traveling. Yeah. Just let people let them go to disarray. Yeah, the trick is, a, is the roofs. Keep an overhang on it.
pen, I'm making an ornament like it. So I, I, so I took the picture down, that the guy who's helping me, I gotta show him what it looks like. But I got the blueprints for all this stuff, so. What is that, an eight pounder or 12 pounder? That's, a, that's called a dictator. I got a six pounder up here, I got two, three inch orange Bigfoot shoes. I got a lot of <laughs> yeah, look at This looks like a navel. I love that. Yeah, it is. That, that, so, yeah. so your foot, yeah, it, back to your shoe goes in here, uh -huh. and this clamps onto your, your thigh. Oh, I see. So you just swing your leg. Yeah. Well, you gotta keep that sharp. I yeah, I think that'd be hard on your leg, wouldn't you think? I think so, after a while, yeah. This, this is the caliper for making wagon wheels. That's an old corn planter made out of wood. There's holes at the very bottom. Oh, thank you. Put your you. quarter in there and turn it kind of fast. Oh. Okay. What? You got it. You got it. Come here. I mean, this is the grand finale. I mean, Come on, fund his retirement already. Oh, my. To turn it kind of fast. <laughs> turn it fast. Yeah, I it go. I sometimes it. Crank it around. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Wasn't that funnest ever? That was <laughs> It was too quick though. I went down just a little. Yeah, right, I right. enjoyed it Too bad you didn't have no right. corn. Here we go. I gotta be quiet so you can dance to it. Shh. Okay. What do they call it a Rube Goldberg device or uh -huh. something? Yeah. <laughs> Just standing there with the wind in your golden hair Didn't know your name But I could feel it with every heartbeat Every time that our eyes would meet Didn't know back then I'm not good in